Hello and welcome to Prudent Media News. First, a look at the top stories. Babush instigator riot. Rioters attacked police station. CBI blames Babush and company for Panji police station attack. BJP criticizes Goa University for allowing political meeting of Rahul Gandhi. Party complains to Vice Chancellor demands sacking of registrar. Sharad Pawar holds states responsible for milk shortage, blames Goa for not tapping central funds under Rashtriya Krishi Vikas Yojana. Government gives midday meal contract to blacklisted self-help group. School refuses the meal. Authorities refuse to comment on the issue. Goa Motorsports Association set to host India's first ever national motocross championship on Sunday. And St. Xavier men and women clinch inter-college hockey title. Xavier rights continue to dominate university hockey. And now the news in detail. CBI has said that Education Minister Babush Monserrat incited the mob to attack Panji police station. CBI has alleged in their charge sheet that Babush and Jennifer Monserrat's speech started riot. The case is likely to come up for hearing in the first week of March. CBI has filed additional charge sheet at Panji JMFC. It has accused Babush Monserrat and Jennifer Monserrat for inflammatory, inciting and provocative speeches. CBI claims these speeches led to riots and pushing the police personnel on duty. Around 40 police personnel were injured in Panji police station attack on 18th February 2008. CBI has also accused Panji Corporation Mayor Caroline Nampo, Corporator Dayanand Karapurkar, Uday Matkekar and former Mayor Tony Rodriguez for inciting mob to attack police. CBI in its charge sheet said that all of a sudden with their common objects, the member of the unlawful assembly started pelting stones, glass bottles, plastic water bottles and other deadly weapons on the police. The police personnel were guarding the entrance of the Panji police station. CBI has charged Babush, Jennifer and others under Indian Penal Code Section 143, 147, 148, 149, 153, 324, 325, 326, 332, 333, 427 and 435. Babush has been also charged under Section 3 of Prevention of Damage to Public Property Act. The case is likely to come up for hearing in first week of March. Principal correspondent Murari Shetty with video journalist Anil Sanadi for Prudent Media. BJP has demanded action against Goa University's registrar for allowing AICC General Secretary Rahul Gandhi's political meeting in Goa University campus. BJP has already complained to the Vice Chancellor. Leader of Opposition Manohar Parikar has criticized CM for allowing university campus for political purpose. Rahul Gandhi's political meet at Goa University complex has already invited a lot of criticism. Especially Registrar of Goa University Dr. Mohan Sangorkar is being questioned as how did university permit to hold such a political meet in the university campus. BJP has also taken a cognizance of this issue. They have demanded that the registrar of the university be sacked. Meanwhile, verbally, I have been chancellor or vice chancellor had a complaint. Kya liya? Ja registrar ani permission diliya. He needs to be sacked. BJP also questioned how chief minister allowed a political meet in Goa University. Problem jo asa university kasha controlled sin harap. Hey, sarkar mukhya mantri ak mat suda shobha dina. Ani bitar atun. Mukhya Mantra to yeh involved asa, role a. He should have stopped Kiwa Congress from misusing university grounds for such purpose. Opposition leader Manohar Parikar threatened to hit the streets with the deprived beneficiaries of DSS scheme. As per the norms of social security, it should be sanctioned normally within three months, but at the most six months. 
सो हम डिमांड आसा कि ज्यादा पे तं एलिजीबल जता दिशान तं फेब्रुवारी पर सगले पेन्शन सेंक्शन करते ना जर विधानसभा कि ते पैली सुधा भारतीय जनता पक्ष जाणट्यांचा मोर्चा या सगळ्या जाणट्यांक घेऊन रस्त्यार देवतली प्रिन्सिपल कॉरस्पॉन्डंट मुरारी शेटे विथ व्हिडिओ जर्नलिस्ट अनिल सनदी फॉर प्रुडंट मीडिया Union Minister for Agriculture Sharad Pawar has said that states are responsible for milk shortage. He said the states are not accessing central funds for dairy development. Minister says Goa too has not tapped the funds under the Rashtriya Krishi Vikas Yojana. India is likely to face acute milk shortage in near future. Goa is facing shortage of milk. Around 1 lakh liters of milk is imported from neighboring states of Maharashtra and Karnataka to meet the local demand. Goa needs 2 lakh liters of milk every day, but state produces only 80 to 90 thousand liters of milk per day. Sharad Pawar has said that Goa is not tapping the central funds meant for dairy development. Addressing a press conference in Delhi, Pawar mentioned that India's milk demand is projected to 166 million tons. by 2020 compared to the production of 108.5 million tons last year the states which are not utilizing central funds for dairy development include goa madhya pradesh maharashtra karnataka west bengal uttarakhand and chatisgarh goa is currently facing acute financial crunch chief minister digambar kamat is asking for central funds for the development In such circumstances the central funds remain untapped who is responsible for this paradox bureau report prudent media let's take a short break stay tuned